Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to find the factors of these given trinomials by using substitution method. So let's get started with first example. The very first thing I want you to manipulate this one a little bit. x power 4 could be written as x square and then power 2 and this could be written as minus 2 times x square minus 15. So far so good. The next step, this is what I want to do right now. I want to say let u equal to x square. That means wherever you see this x square, you replace it by u. So this is simply is going to become u square minus 2u minus 15. Now let's go ahead and factor this given trinomial right now. I want you to put down this right hand side number negative 15 on the top and this middle number the coefficient of u which is negative 2 right up here. Let's find the factors of 15. So the possible factor is going to be of course 3 and 5. Let's fix the sign. So that's going to be a positive 3, negative 5. So these are our factors positive 3 and negative 5. If you multiply them you're going to get negative 15 and if you add them you're going to get negative 2. Here's the next step we're going to do. Since we want to factor these one out, I want you to just simply put down two parentheses. That's the very first thing. I want, since we are dealing with u variable, so I want you to put down u right here and u right here. And the next thing is our two factors are positive 3. Just write down the other one is negative 5. So these are our factors in terms of u. But we know that u equal to x square. We're going to go ahead and put it back, replace u by x square. So I can write x square because u is same as x square plus 3. And then once again, u is same as x square minus 5. And these are our factors. So thus x squared plus 3 times x squared minus 5 are our factors. And here is our next example. Once again we're going to manipulate. I can write x power 4 as x squared and then power 2 plus 10 times x squared minus 11. So far so good. And now here I want you to just simply put down this. I'm going to say let u equal to x square. That means wherever you see x square and this x square becomes u. So this is simply is going to become u square plus 10u minus 11. And in the next step, we are going to factor this given trinomial. I want you to put down this negative 11 on the top of this x factor and put down this coefficient of u, which is positive 10 at the bottom. Let's go ahead and find the factors of negative 11. The factors of 11 is going to be 1 and 11. Let's fix the sign. See this positive 10. So that means this is positive 11, negative 1. So we got negative 1 and positive 11 as two factors. If you multiply them, you're going to get negative 11. And if you add them, you are going to get positive 10. And the next step is I want you to just put down two parentheses. 1 and 2 parentheses for this trinomial to factor this one. Since we are dealing with the u variable, I want you to put down u right here and u right here. And our 
factors are negative one I want you to just put down negative one right up here and this positive 11 is going to be right up here now we know that u was equal to x square let's go ahead and put it back x value so this u become x square minus 1 this u is this x square and once again this u become x square plus 11 so far so good and now here I want to just manipulate a little bit this x square minus 1 could be written as 1 square times x plus 11 and now we're going to use this difference of two squares to factor out this part over here this is the difference of two squares we can write it as the sum the product of sum and the difference so I can write as this could be written as x plus 1 times x minus 1 for this quantity and then just bring this one down x square plus 11 once again I want to make sure that this is your a this is your b and I factored it out thus x plus 1 times x minus 1 times x square plus 11 are our complete factors and finally here is your assignment can you solve these this given quadratic equation by three different ways quadratic equation by completing the square by factor you can take your time you can pause the video luckily I have already uploaded this video as well go ahead and check it out and see the correct way Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.